Let's go do a blueberry back play. Black, blueberry, blackberry pack. Oh, your granola bar is in there. Let's see it, buddy. That was cool. I just don't want to go over time. True North Homes. Oh, yeah. That's insane. Do we have time to look a little more? Oh, wow. That is great. Oh, yes. Yeah. I recognize Yeah. Yes. The floors are heated. The floors are heated. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we have a really busy day today. Forrest, what are we doing first? Uh, going to blueberry and and blackberry. Blue, no. Yeah. yeah, no, that's right. That's right. We're going to a blueberry and blackberry patch in Owasso. And then I'm going to take you along with me on a day in the life of a realtor slash the day in life of living here in the greater Tulsa area. Should be a lot of fun. So after we do the blueberry patch, we're going to go to a podcast because I just started a podcast called the People of Oklahoma Podcast. We have a really cool guest coming on. He started a nonprofit here in Tulsa called the Be Heard Movement. Uh, his name's Evan. Really excited to talk to him. And then after that, we're going to go to a closing. And then I'm going to take you guys out in Stone Canyon, which is a master plan community here in Owasso. I've been hitting up Forest Ridge out in Broken Arrow, which is also a master plan community. But this one uh, is located in Owasso, like I said. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys a, uh, a parade of home out in Stone Canyon, because I think it'll be really cool for you guys to kind of see those type of homes. So uh, if you're interested in looking to buy or sell here in Tulsa, I'm your guy. And let's go do a blueberry back play. Black, blueberry blackberry patch. Boo! <laughs> Let's go. All right, we just got here to the Christmas tree and blueberry farm in Owasso. What's up? And let's see how happy Taylor is about me wearing the camera. Are you still embarrassed by it? Here we go again. <laughs> is that a good granola bar? It is. I got I Jump. Hey, what's going on? There's... Awesome. What are you guys wanting to pick today? Do you want to do blueberries or blackberries? Do you like blackberries better? All right, you want to go to where Rosa, 50 through 55 behind the barn. Okay, cool. That's it. All right, we'll just have them grab the buckets okay. and then we'll just help them. Sounds okay. good. All right, you guys ready? What numbers did you say? I don't remember. What numbers did you say? 50 through 55. 50, 50 through 55. 55, okay. 50 to 55? Yeah. Oh. That's kind of cool that we have this so close to Owasso. You coming? Five zero. Five zero. So I'm actually making a short form video right now too. Ready to go, buddy? Yep. All right, let's keep going. Okay. We, go. we got one for us. Come on. Let's put it in your bucket. <laughs> Look, buddy, pick that too. one. Like, see these red ones? They're not ready yet. Oh. Hey, come on. Is he no, ready? Stop it. We'll pick her. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, your granola bar is in there. <laughs> oh, look at those up there, buddy. Those are good ones. Do you want me to pick you up and grab them? Yeah. You want to reach? All right. Yeah. Well, that's a good one, Val. Yeah. Whoa. That's a good one. Hey, Forrest. Forrest. I didn't know blackberries were red and then they turned black. Let's see it, buddy. All right, right up here. You see those? Yeah. All right, here, I'll hold this. Get it. What? Oh. oh. Nice. Put it in your bucket. One more time. One more time. That black one right there. Nice. One more time. So, here's the key for picking blueberries and blackberries at this farm. You got to go early in the morning. I'm giving, I'm giving tips because that's, I mean, that's, that's what this channel is about. It's giving tips. Man, we should have. We should do a competition. Maybe do it next year. Who can pick the beautifulest blueberry or well, blackberry? We could go do blueberries. Okay. We could put all the blackberries in one thing and then do blueberries. Okay. Good job, Fal. Where'd your mama go? She's on a mission. How many did you find? Seven. Seven? I didn't know. I want seven. And off they go. <laughs> oh, look, there's a bug in our blackberries. Oh, no. Ooh. Looks like a leaf bug. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like leaf. Oh. Let's get, out. Let's get out, bug. Oh, yeah. Let's get out, bug. Come on, little bug. There you go. There you go. Oh, he Alright, let's go uh, get in the bucket. We might have to get on that thing to uh, the Oh, really? Uh, first name Steven, last initial H. Oh, yeah. Alright, are you going to get in the ATV? Yeah. 
All right, let's go get an ATV. Good. Blueberry time. time. All right. Good? Thank you for the lift. You guys have a lot had of a uh, lot of people out here. A lot of people. Here, trees. Uh, how many trees do they get? Just just people pick out a year. Do you know that number? Well, uh, we bring a lot of trees in from Oregon. Oh, okay. And North Carolina. Right there. there we might have to do a real Christmas tree this year. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Wow, look at all these blueberries. Man, this is crazy. This is so cool. Oh, found you getting some? Yeah, You're getting all of them, huh? You're welcome. Look at all these blueberries. Whoa, dude, that's a ton of blueberries. Fallon, how many blueberries did you get? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. That was cool. Are you eating those? Fallon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thought I would get a clip of the front of the. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. All right. Now we gotta go to a podcast. All right. Got my boy Evan. If I said Ethan, that was not right earlier. It is Evan. Oh man. Fallon's. Fallon gave me her granola bar at the blueberry patch, and I had it in my pocket. Thank you, sir. How's it going? Doing good. What are you laughing at, Sarah? Nothing. How did you get back here? How'd you get back here? I find, I find ways. Okay. <laughs> dude, this, I'm still doing it. You are. I'm yeah. doing it, I'm committed. All right, these guys surprised me. They, they, they came in. <laughs> what's up, what's up, brother, what's up? So we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the handshakes again. Dude, thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for coming on. This is the, this is the studio. Got the set up. Dude, got the set up, bro. Awesome. I just don't wanna go over time like I normally do. All right, hey, we got one next Thursday. week. Yeah, I saw it yeah. Hey man, I want to come out and uh, I want to come out and volunteer. Yeah, so I'll reach out to you. For sure. Uh, I want to come out and help out and yeah. you know, be good. Whatever I can. It's awesome. So, see. Appreciate you, man. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Hey, if you guys need anything, you call me. Okay. All right. Oh, that was a great episode. Great episode. Good dude. If you want to listen to that podcast, uh, go check it out, and it should be up when this. It should be. As I was saying before, my camera kind of died on me. Um, make sure you check out that episode podcast. It is with Evan Duguid with Be Heard. It basically talks about kind of how he got started and all the things that they're offering for Tulsa residents and you know the homeless here in Tulsa. Very, very cool stuff. So we're gonna head back to Owasso now to go to one of my closings for my clients. Um, and yeah, so kind of cool. So let's go do that. The sun is shining down on me. All right, so I just got to where I'm closing at, but we don't close till two. So it's right there, Titan Title. That's where we're closing at on this transaction. And then here's my office. This is where I work out of, Cobalt Banker. So we don't close till two. I got a couple hours till closing. I'm going to go in here, work on some paperwork, get some stuff cleaned up some files cleaned up do some social media stuff all right we are officially closed yeah buddy yeah 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 buddy so we're closed up happy clients happy life they're pumped to be first-time homeowners which actually i do quite a bit of first-time homeowners and home buyers which is uh, so much fun. All right, so we got that closed up. Now we are going to grab my stuff and go out to Stone Canyon to look at the Parade of Homes. All right, we made it out to Stone Canyon. This is actually the new, new part of Stone Canyon. It's another gated community. It's called the Coves. And this house is right on they're kind of pond lake area out here in Stone Canyon. So yeah, it's a nice house. So this is a true North Homes. This home is 1.3 million. Actually, it's like 1 million 389,000. Four car garage. It's a five bedroom, five bath. Just shy of 5,000 square feet. If you guys can see back there, like that's your backyard. It's crazy. It's like a water feature. Oh. 
All right, so we got a full bath right here. I think you did the floating, floating cabinets. Man, that's a pretty shower. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So this is your sunroom in here, overlooking. I don't know, would you call that a pond or a lake? Hey, how are you guys doing? Doing good, how are you? Doing? Good. So you basically got a kitchen in your pantry. This is uh, this pantry is bigger than my kitchen. Then you got your safe room right here. Definitely can fit a lot of people in here. Microwave. Oh, there's the four car garage. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh my gosh. This is like another, it's like another kitchen in here, but it's a laundry room. That's insane. See, another one. Another one just is like you, these islands in these. Oh, that's nice. You can actually see like, but these, um, these island countertops and the primary bath or pri primary closets are always tall. I guess that makes sense when I was talking to Ash, you know, he's saying, you know, take off your rings, your watches. Man, this primary bathroom is insane. Same type of countertops. Black freestanding tub. Got the waterfall. This has to be granite. Make sure I'm not gonna hit glass here. Two shower heads. Yeah, I could do this bathroom. I could do this bathroom. All right, I need everybody to uh, share this video so I can f afford one of these houses one day. So go ahead and just share this video to as many friends as possible. And that way, one day, I can buy one of these houses. Man, another great bedroom here. So this is probably guest suite area. Let's go upstairs. Whoa, what is this? What is this? So it's like a, the, another house had this, we walked through. I don't even know what to really, describe this room there must be something about it because the other house we looked at the other day had that type of room too you know what i wish they did i wish they could they have done a window yeah they could have done a window right there i wish they did a window on that side too but i'm kind of like really into those corner windows right now Yep, they got one of those. I love that. Oh, see that paint? I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's just mine. Oh, another closet. See, this is, the, this is a good size closet. Let's see if they got foam. Oh yeah, they foamed it out. They foamed it out. Of course they foamed it. It's a 1.3, 1.4 million dollar house. Because this closet's a little bit bigger. Maybe I just don't remember the closets in Forest Ridge. But I thought they were way bigger. I'll have to go back and look at my video. This is the best lot. Probably in the coves though. This is probably the best lot. Beautiful home, beautiful home. I'll take it. Pretty home, man. It is, isn't it? Pretty home. Well, man, thanks for letting me take a look. I appreciate it. Of course. Yeah, a good one. Man, pretty house, pretty house. Do we have time to look at one more? Yeah, let's go look at one more. All right, so we just looked at that house over there. We're gonna come down here and look at this sixth day house. 
This one that we're looking at is 3,700, uh, 3,700, 3,800 square feet. Um, it is a four bedroom, three bath. So, you know, it's probably, not probably, it's over a thousand square feet less. Doesn't have the bathroom, doesn't have two full bathrooms and doesn't have one, one less. So my buddy, he built a house out here in Stone Canyon. He was actually on my podcast and he went with Sixth Day and really liked it. It's pretty. Awesome. All right, so here's one of the full bathrooms. This is probably quartz. Dang it, I should have asked that guy to ask the builder. That's gonna really bug me about that last countertop in the primary bathroom. And it looks like the primary bath or primary bedroom over there has a uh, little private back porch with a fireplace. That's what it looks like. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> so here's bedroom number two. Huh. I mean, this is a good enough size closet for me, but I'm thinking more of a walk-in closet. <laughs> it's so funny, I go look at a couple of really expensive homes in Forest Ridge, and I think I'm some kind of expert in, uh, in judging luxury homes. That's cool though. I heard food reviews are almost just like reviewing homes. I kind of, I kind of forget that I'm wearing a camera on top of my head. So when people look at me, I'm like, hey, and they kind of just like weirdly smile at me. Kind of just get comfortable after a while, you know, wearing the camera. is great. Oh no way. A cold plunge and a sauna. Dude, I'm, I'm taking video of this. That's awesome. This is cool. All right, so we're walking in. This is a great closet. Wow. Holy moly. This is, I should have started on this side of the house. This is, this is incredible. <gasps> the floors are heated. The floors are heated. I'm not even kidding, guys. I can feel it. That's crazy. Two toilets. I understand why this got a bunch of awards. I understand it now. It all makes sense. I try to avoid people. So here's the laundry room. Oh, it's a secret door. So you have that right there. And then wham, there's like a secret cleaning closet, extra pantry, hideout for mom and dad to do chores. All right, let's go look at this primary bedroom. Just will come over here. Oh, there's your safe room right there. Safe room right there. Oh yeah. Wow, and then you have your, yep, little private patio, fireplace. That's sick. Ooh, pantry. We gotta go check out the pantry. So I make like Instagram and TikTok videos about Tulsa. I do, I do like food reviews and stuff on social media. Oh yes, yeah. I recognize you, yeah. yes. Yeah. What is it? Super what is cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the 918 agent. Yes, okay. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. 
So I'm trying, so the reason why I look ridiculous is because I'm trying, uh, <laughs> I don't look ridiculous, right? No, uh, I'm trying these new type of uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, more of like vlog style of yeah. me. So Parade of Homes was this week. So I was awesome. like, you know, I'm gonna go look at some of the winners. So me, beautiful house, beautiful house. Hey, thanks man, appreciate it. Great home. I went to one side of the home and like I was kind of like almost a little disappointed at the beginning, but that other side made up for it tremendously. I would probably think of that house more as maybe a retiree or someone that's an empty nester because it's all single floor. You have a really nice one side of the house, almost like a whole entire, you know, side of the house. Uh, for you know recovery workout relaxation you know pampering with that bathroom so man great home let's look at the front of it real quick oh yeah oh yeah that's pretty let's get out of here all right well that's it for this video thank you so much for watching like i said we were out at here at the cove stone canyon looking at a couple of parade of uh parade of homes with the hba looked at two winners uh, in two different divisions, so they're really cool to look at. Um, if you ever need help with learning more about Tulsa or questions about real estate here in Tulsa, just uh, you know, let me know. Comment section down below, or uh, my contact info is in the description. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.